Now, I'm sure a lot of you know about Mr. Porter. You know, the, the really fancy online menswear store that sells high-end pieces for quite a lot of money, but it's good pieces, it's really fun to look at. They do amazing online content like videos and their journal, which is their blog, is great to read. I'm a big fan. In a way, you could say we're the budget, Mr. Porter. You could say that, but we're sustainable, so we're different. But same sort of thing, same sort of brands, Barinas, Boliolis, Tom Fords, that kind of stuff. But today I wanted to talk to you about something of theirs which is criminally underrated, and I think actually more than anything unknown, and that's their in-house brand, Mr. P. So in 2017, Mr. Porter made their own brand, Mr. P by Mr. Porter, as a way of providing essentials. They design pieces basically using all their experience and all their staff and just the company as a whole as a collaboration. So with the seasonal nature of fashion and menswear, they were seeing a lot of the items they knew were perennials essentially, taken away and then not made again. So they used that thought and started focusing down onto certain items and they're using really good materials to make them last. So I want to show you some of the pieces that we've got in store from Mr. P and I think they're fantastic pieces. I think they're made really well and I'm just not sure why people don't talk about them that much. Like I don't know many guys talk about buying a piece from Mr. P or wanting to buy a piece from Mr. P. I hear other brands. I just don't know where they sit in the hierarchy of, pe of people's minds in terms of fashion. Do they fit in with the Reese's? Do they fit in with the more higher end stuff? There are legacies. Do they, where, where do they sort of fit into the, the mindset of people? I just literally never hear people talk about it. And I think that's criminal considering how much cool stuff there is from them and how reasonable the price is, especially if you own. So we'll go to the site here and we'll have a look at what they've got on at the moment. Um, founded in 2017, Mr. P is a range of contemporary menswear, shoes and accessories that empowers you to explore your own style. Its collections, inspired by past and present style icons, are filled with year-round timeless staples that focus on modern silhouettes and premium fabrics. So that makes a lot of sense in terms of, look, it's inspired stuff by brands that they stock, classical sort of wear, nothing too wacky or crazy out there. It's not gonna change menswear. It's not gonna be sort of some out there future, you know, siliquin, siliquins? It's just not, it's gonna be it's just classic stuff. So first of all, this sort of very autumnal winter um, colors that we're seeing here, all very nice. And then if we go scroll down, we've got a really lovely cardigan. They really do, interesting patterns. They don't go too nuts, but they do very striking patterns. We've got one of the pieces I'm gonna show you that we've got in the store has, it's very much sticks to that. I really love that blue sun jacket, very nice. See again, another sort of patchwork cardigan here. Interesting colors, very pleasing color palette, I think. I think that's probably my favorite part of the brand. Their color palettes are absolutely on point. They use suede a lot, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. That's a new buck. But you get the you get the idea. Very interesting pieces. Very very wearable. I think the whole thing here is just incredibly wearable and nothing too boring. There are like very simple stuff here, like a cream jumper or some suede boots. You know, you've seen these in brands before. And that's where I think it's quite interesting with, with, with this brand because they are essentially, they are essentially being inspired by pieces they've had in store. I personally don't feel there's anything wrong with that at all. It's, it's you know, if you can see a suede Chelsea boot in most brands, but some people may feel like that is just a bit of a knockoff or a bit, you know, just not what they want. They'd rather go for the real thing. But let's look at, let's look at the prices. So this is all obviously all new, but uh, suede Chelsea boot here for 345 pounds. It's not terrible. If it's made well, it's not bad at all. Um, this knitted jumper, 228 pounds. Again, a kind of Reese figure here. Originally three to 325. 295 for that sweater. For a jacket, 465. You are looking in the Reese Arquette levels and I personally feel knowing what I know about the materials they use that this is better and they the designs are a bit more interesting you won't see so many people out and about wearing it that's why I feel the benefit of them being that not very well known or not that not that very well used is for the consumer to 
stick out a little bit, have something a little bit different. Even this sort of shearing leather bomber jacket, 875 pounds. That, anything leather jacket wise in brands from like Acne or something like that is over a thousand pounds normally or around that. So it's just, it's kind of keeping within it and just a shade, maybe a shade cheaper. Which is kind of where I feel like this should be because if they're just making pieces that are, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like shadow pieces, pieces that just slide under the radar, just like nice stuff. They should just be slightly, because they're not a they're not a big brand. Although Mr. Port is a huge thing, they're not like a huge, huge brand. So I think that's that's kind of smart. So the, the one issue I do kind of feel with the brand is, or it's not even an issue. It's not an issue for me. It's maybe for them. Is where does it fit? What like does this have an identity? Is probably the main thing I'm getting to. Because I can't something about it. Maybe because they just do such a vast line, and their branding is quite minimal i love i love the little mr p logo by the way I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it very simple very elegant but does it have an identity and you'll see here from the pieces that i'll show you in a sec that we've got in store they don't run along the same sort of lines this does, they don't run along the same lines as here i know this is a different line different, different um time of year but my thing with them is yeah i just feel like maybe they don't have that identity and that's why so many people haven't taken it on now this could just be me just not being aware or not speaking to the right people. I, I, I'm sure they're very successful, otherwise why would they do it? But it's just my thoughts on the brands and I'm a huge, I'm a huge, huge fan of it. Um, this here is actually Mr. Porter, so this kind of um, corduroy overshirt. I, again, I love the colours they use, just something a little bit different, this sort of light mustard, uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of. But let's go to some of the pieces that we've got in store and the prices as well, because I think for what they are, very good. So first up, we've got this long sleeve uh, polo shirt with this really interesting, it's kind of like a 50s, 50s style, very 50s kind of pattern. Again, the color is very uh, ambitious, a strong pattern, but nothing too wild. And the material is a very rugged kind of um, cotton feel to it. So again, there's that logo which I just think is really simple and really And this is a large, and this is in store for 85 pounds currently. Let's just check. Right, so this is a large, and it's in store for 70 pounds at the moment, which I think is such an amazing price for a really interesting piece, something you're never gonna see too often. It's made, fant made fantastically well, and 70 pounds, what does that really get you in most places? Next up, we've got this really cool blue, Cotton sort of overshirt slash blazer, soft shoulders, uh, these sort of pouch pockets here. The material is super soft. Like I love this material. It's got this kind of brushed feel to it. Uh, again, another reason why I love the brand because they just use really interesting textures as well with their materials. Uh, this thing's gonna last you ages. So this is a UK 44 and this is in store for 800 pounds, which is, again, for something that's gonna last you a hell of a long time, very simple, a blue sort of chore jacket-y blazer thing. They're, this will go with so much in your wardrobe and at any time of the year. The fact that it's not got much structure to it means you can wear a coat over it, you can uh, layer underneath it. There's just so much you can do with this and for 100 pounds, I think it's a fantastic deal. So, and lastly, what we've got in store is this uh, Japanese selvage denim jacket. Look at the wash on this. That's what I think is super interesting. First of all, Japanese denim, it's not just, just a slogan or a sort of uh, a tagline. There's a video, I'll put it in the description as well, that they've done about the design, the thought process that's come into the indigo and, the, and the, just the sheer making and putting together of the denim they've done. It's really good. It's really, really good. You can actually feel that as well with the texture. You can see it in the wash. I mean, look at that really cool wash. Absolutely clean. Because I think a lot of times when you've got denim on, sometimes it can feel a bit scruffy if you don't get the wash right. Sometimes if the sizing and shape isn't right, so this is very slim, this is sort of small. And you could wear this with some like smart trousers and like a roll neck underneath or something like that. It will just go with so much. So this is 80 pounds in store. So. A, denim jacket for 80 pounds that's designed the way this is and put together uh, the way this has been put together is a great deal. So UK shipping is completely free. If you, if you have any questions, lift me up. It's helloarchimus.com 
at Arch and Wisdom on socials. Please like and subscribe because it helps me make more videos and build the store in general so I can supply more and more clothes and generally uh, put more stuff in front of you guys and hopefully in your wardrobes. It's all pre-owned so it's sustainable and uh, yeah once they're gone they're gone so they're one of a kind pieces for us so if you're interested get there quick and uh, yeah look forward to hearing from you. Cheers!